Recently, I received a question from one of the YouTube subscribers. She is having a problem with some weird brushes happen over her hand and also her feet. And this type of rashes is itchy, caused her difficulty in sleeping. Every night, she felt that she was bite by something, but she's not sure. This really disturbed her and made her paranoid and don't know what to do. That's why she asked me what can she do to prevent this happen again. Let's see the VR. Hi, Dr. Sab. I have been following your channel. I would like to ask a question today. Recently, I have a lot of bite marks and inflammation on my hands and legs. Every morning, I wake up to find new lesions and inflammation marks, bite marks on my extremities. Strangely, the marks seem to be arranged in a straight row. Now, when I fall asleep at night, I feel that there are insects biting me and I cannot sleep soundly. Am I being paranoid? I used to enjoy good sleep every night, but now I am afraid to go to sleep at night. Can you help me? I mean, I think you're having a big box infestation. So, what is this big box? Scientific name is called Cimex naturalis. Big box usually found in our home, especially on the bed and those uh, furniture. Big box life cycle is simple. It involves five stages before it evolves into a dog. The first Insta name taken one blood meal will morph into the second state Insta names and so forth. And it becomes adult. The adult bed bugs will take repeated blood meals while a female will lay five eggs every blood meal and continue the cycle. The life cycle of bed bugs can vary from 4 weeks to 4 months. How long does a big bug live? Usually it can live up to 1 year without a blood meal. Scary right? And each time when they take the blood meal, it will last for about few minutes. Usually it's painless but sometimes it can be painful. Where does the big bug bite? Usually, it bites our face, neck, arm, shoulder, hand, leg, and foot. Those places where our skin was exposed at night. How you know this rashes is due to a big bug's bite? Usually, the big bug's bite causes rashes, and if the rashes usually raise up. In the middle of these rashes, there is a blister. Sometimes it presents as a welt, which is in a zigzag fashion. And sometimes you will find that the bite mark is in a straight line. The bite mark actually know where is your blood vessel and they usually track along the blood vessel and bite accordingly. That's why the bite marks usually in a straight line fashion. Big bug can track us because they can sense our body temperature as well as our exhaled carbon dioxide. They can travel from very far, about 30 meters, toward our body. When they sense there is a human that stay in that particular place, they will act and they will follow our body heat and also our breath carbon dioxide. How can we tell when we have big bugs in our house? First, you can
can find some blood spot over our bed especially in the morning and also we can see some of the rusty spotty stain which is come from the bed bug excrement on the surface of furniture or egg, their shell, their dry, uh, dead body uh, over the site where they usually hide and also they will produce some musky odour uh, which is very distinct where does this bed bug usually hide? You can find them in the bed sheet fold, the drawers, the furniture, the wardrobes, the crack over the wall, even the electrical wall plug, and those dark and cold place. They like to stay there and they lay their egg there. How does the bed bugs transmit? Usually, the bed bugs transmit through travelling. During travelling, we went to those hostel or hotel and we stay in. Those bed bugs can crawl into our luggages, in our clothes, our body, and we will bring to the other side. Does washing the clothes can kill the bed bugs? The answer is yes. Washing detergent can really kill the bed bugs. However, if you use the dryer, definitely it will 100% kill all the bed bugs and the eggs. Can a bed bug live on our hair? The answer is no. If you found something chlorine under your hair, actually it is more to lice. Bed bugs don't have this claw that can hold on on this body hair. So don't mistaken that this lice and big bug is the same. There's another type of bugs we call it the flea or the ticks. They can jump from one body to one body and they also feed on blood meal. But they're also different from this big bug because they can jump and travel very far. So there is a difference between this big bugs, flea and lice. How to treat Big bugs bites. Big bugs bites usually causes rashes and itchiness over the wound. This is due to the big bugs inject some of the blood thinning agent through the saliva while they bite to prevent the blood clot during the blood suction. So this blood thinning agent causes allergic reaction and inflammation over the bite area. The treatment at home is easy. You might apply some sort of anti itch cream over the bite area. You might take some antihistamine orally to reduce the itchiness. Usually, the wound will heal within one week up to two weeks. If the rashes and the lesion getting worse and the itchiness won't stop with all the treatments, you might need to seek medical professional help. The doctor usually will examine the rashes and the lesions. They will start oral or injectable corticosteroid. They might start injectable antihistamine. If the allergy is getting severe, they might use injectable adrenaline to counteract the allergic reactions. Doctor will check the wound. If the wound got infected, they will start antibiotics. Doctor also will check your blood to make sure that you have no anemia. Because chronically, big bugs bite will cause a patient lost blood and lead to anemia. In the case of anemia, doctor may transfuse or start some iron pills to top up your hypoglobin level. Big bugs infestation is a big issue. Usual household cleaning is not effective to eliminate bed bugs infestations. Changing the bed sheet, changing the furniture, changing the bed doesn't solve the problem. I advise that if you have the bed bug infestation issues, please seek pest control expertise 
the eradications of big bugs. I hope this video gives you some insight about big bugs infestations. And I hope that these big bug issues can be sorted out. Please share with your friends and let them know about this. Please leave some comment under the video and like my videos. And don't forget to subscribe my channel, Tanya Dr. Sam. Thank you. Have a nice day.